Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Amanda Ensing, and today we are diving into some summer proof, sweat proof, summer night glam full beat makeup. If you are new, if this is the first video you're watching from me, welcome, my name is Amanda. Make sure you hit subscribe down below and join my A-team if you have not already. Today, I wanted to bring you guys some summer makeup. I did full beat, full glam, not gonna budge, but you know, here to slay. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial chit chat. Get ready with me and without further ado, let's get into the makeup. I'm gonna start by moisturizing and prepping my skin. During the day when I do my makeup, I usually apply some kind of beauty oil, but at night I like to go with a moisture balm. Now just a disclaimer, my skin is more normal dry, but I am focusing this routine for all skin types. So even if you're oily, you can use this routine. So I'm gonna start with this moisture balm. This is from Bobbi Brown. It's the Bobbi Brown Extra Bear Glow Illuminating Moisture Balm. So I'm gonna put this on my skin to give my skin a little bit of a glow and illumination underneath of my foundation. So I'm I'm gonna take a MAC stippling brush and I'm just going to put this all over my skin. I really like Bobbi Brown's skin prep. I use the vitamin C enriched base a lot under my makeup. I really, really love it. And it's also cooling on the skin and it's gonna hydrate and give your skin some glow. You look like a star when you put this under your foundation, like no joke like your skin just glows. I used to be oily when I lived on the East Coast because it was so humid there, and I still loved dewy skin. So even if you have oily skin, you can still rock a dewy look by using illuminating products and then other products with it, which I will show you to control your oil and set your makeup. To prime my skin, I'm gonna use this primer from Cover Effects. I love skin primers. I really, really believe in them. If you find one that works for you in your specific need, whether it's pores or redness or oil or hydration, you will fall in love with primers. You just have to find one that you really like and that works for you. So this is from Cover Effects. This is the gripping and firming primer from Cover Effects. It's a jelly-like texture, and when you put it on the skin, it has a little bit of a tackiness to it, which you're probably like, wait, why is it tacky? It's tacky because it grabs the makeup that you put on top, so your foundation just stays and it just adheres and it's beautiful. There's like a $200 plus Sisley primer that has been super popular in like luxury cosmetics for a long time. And a lot of brands like Cover FX, also Milk, they have their Hydro Grip, have, I feel like these are competing versions of it at a way lower price point. Nobody has time to spend $200 on a primer. That's just crazy to me. So I'm going to apply this with the same brush and apply it all over my skin. And I like to focus my primers in the center of my face and then work outwards because I feel like, especially when it's hot, all of my foundation always starts to come off first in the center of my face and the outer parts of my face are usually fine. So now we're gonna go into foundation. I'm gonna use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is one of my favorite liquid foundations ever. The reason why I love this foundation is because you can cover as much as you want on your skin or you can sheer it out and make it look a little bit more natural, but also it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't feel heavy. This is one of the only liquid foundations that I can stand during the summer. I usually tend to go towards stick foundations, which you guys have seen me use a million times, but I know a lot of people love liquid foundation and I love this because it doesn't feel heavy and it lasts all night. Like this is a very long wearing foundation and there's no SPF. Make sure if you're going out and you're gonna be taking pictures with your girlfriends or your boo, make sure there's no SPF or you're gonna have a white ghost face and no one wants that. And it has a pump, which is a huge plus. I'm sorry, mine looks disgusting, but I love this foundation. I'm gonna put this on a sponge and I'm just going to bounce it into the skin. You can use this foundation with a brush or a sponge. It works both ways. I'm trying not to get too much makeup towards my piercing because if you don't follow me on IG, my tragus piercing got infected. Could have been because of makeup, I'm not really sure, but I try to keep it really, really clean and I clean it every day. So I was actually on antibiotics when I was in Mexico. Like my tragus was so swollen, it was disgusting. So I've gotta be careful of my piercing. So it might look weird on camera, but it's okay, I'll fix it. Now I'm gonna go in and conceal and I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. This is in the shade Medium. And it kind of looks like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It's like a little sponge. So I'm gonna use this and highlight and conceal. I like to multitask, so I'm gonna apply this underneath of my eyes, but also use it as my eye primer. So I'm gonna go like right here so I can blend it out. I don't really use eye primers anymore. I like to just use concealer because it does essentially the same thing if you set it. I go on the sides of my nose. I'm also gonna go on my chin and right here. I don't know why I always get darkness in this area, but anywhere I wanna bring light to the face is where I'm applying concealer. Going back to the sponge, I'm just gonna blend everything out. 
Make sure you get the inner part of the eye right here as well. Sometimes it's easy to forget that area and it makes your under eyes look darker. Now I'm going to cream contour. I have been loving the Huda Beauty Tantor that came out and I use the shade Light and it is dark. Like I'm self tanned right now and I'm still the shade Light. But I really love this product. It's so creamy. I'm going to use a Morphe E45 brush. You can use discount code Amanda online or in store. Help your girl out. Sometimes it's hard with cream contours. I feel like it's super intimidating because you're afraid of using too much or using it wrong. But I love this product. I used it in Mexico as well. I'm using Morphe M439 and I'm just going to press into the skin. I like to press and kind of bring the product upwards. If you swirl it, sometimes it can mess up your foundation, which is no bueno. So I try not to like swirl in circles too much since I don't want to disturb the foundation placement. On the forehead area, you want to make sure you push it back into the hairline. You can always clean up your hairline after you're done, but you don't want to have like tan and then your natural color. Now we're going to bake. We're going to set all of this concealer to make sure it does not budge the reason why I didn't do baking and then my cream contour is because you don't want to put cream products over powder so if I was to bring the powder down and bake and then I accidentally mixed it with the contour it just looks a little weird and doesn't work so I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder but before I bake it I'm just gonna go back and press the concealer into the skin because it creased just a little bit but you want to make sure you have no creases when you set or else your concealer will stay creased. So I just wanna make sure everything looks good. Okay, it looks pretty good. This concealer doesn't crease a lot, but I always go back and just double blend. So now I'm gonna take a ton of powder and I'm gonna press it into the concealer. And then I'm gonna take the excess powder left on my eyelids so that they're primed and ready for eyeshadow. I'm also gonna go on the sides of my nose and then on my chin, especially because I'm like breaking out here. I wanna set that area so that it doesn't budge. And then I'm just taking the excess on my forehead. I don't need that area to be too matte. I'm more focused with my eyes and my chin area and my upper lip area right here, especially when it's hot. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like all my foundation starts like breaking off right here. So when I set it, it won't come off. This step is for all my oily girls. This step is completely optional, but this is an extra step you can do to make sure your foundation does not budge. So I'm gonna go in with another powder. This is also from Laura Mercier, but it is their glow powder So it is a face powder, but this is the glow where this is translucent So this one is completely matte great for baking this one I have baked with it before it just adds an intense glow to the skin But what I like this for is I will dip a brush in here and this is just a morphe brush I tap off the excess and I will use this on my skin to set the actual face not really under the eyes and press it or lightly buff it. Just don't swirl hard or else it can also mess up your foundation. But anywhere that's shiny, it's gonna set, but it still has a glow to it. So this is great because it's not gonna completely mattify your whole face. I personally don't like a completely matte face. My face is peeling a little bit because I got sunburned. I don't want the tan to go away though. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off all of this excess powder underneath of my eyes. You can definitely keep it here while you do your eyeshadow if you're afraid of fallout. I'm not really worried about it. I don't typically have too much issue with fallout. It's totally optional if you want to leave it there while you do your eyeshadow, you totally can. I'm gonna add some more lip balm because this one is on the thinner side and I like my lips to feel hydrated. I'm gonna use the Morphe 35R palette tonight and this is what it looks like. When it comes to summer nights out, I love rich browns from cool to neutral to warm browns. I just, I love matte brown colors. And I also love hints of rose gold and gold and silver. So today we are going to start with this palette and I am a very matte girl when it comes to my eyeshadows. So I'm going to focus on this like cooler brown area right here. I'm going to start with the first color in the palette right here. It's a rosy neutral brown color and I'm going to take a Morphe. This is an M502. It's a fluffy brush and this is going to be the transition color. And this is the first color that you lay down just to blend everything else. So I do have lash extensions. I just got them two days ago. So my eyes are still a little bit red right now. So if you've noticed my eyes are red, I'm just going to start on the outer corner and bring this from outer corner to inner corner. The way I think of a transition color is it's like a contour for your eyes. It's the base. When I don't wanna do anything to my eyes, I will just do this. I will just do a transition color and call it a day. And I always start by laying the color on the outer part of the eye 
just because wherever you lay down the brush first is where you're gonna put the most amount of product. I go both in outward and inward circles. Now I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's a chocolate, but it has a hint of purple undertone, so it's a little bit more of a cooler color. And this is a Morphe M573. It's a domed brush. And I'm gonna take this lower, so more in the crease area, and then bring this inwards towards the inner part of the eye. So I'm gonna do outer circles, and then inward circles as I go inwards. And I'm gonna bring out this color in a triangle, like an outer V, because I'm not gonna do wing liner today. So I'm gonna give that wing liner effect and lift the eyes. When you bring it outwards, it lifts the eyes more. I always keep my transition brush near me as I'm doing this, so I can always buff out the outer edges. I'm gonna take some of this chocolatey brown down in the corner with a smaller domed brush, right in the crease of the eye. And this is a Morphe M321 brush. I'm not bringing this color out in a V, I'm just focusing it right where my eye stops. Going back to my transition brush, the first brush we used, I'm just gonna diffuse the edges a little bit and I'm taking that beige color. Now I'm gonna take a brightening powder. This is KKW Beauty Number no. One in this little Huda brush. I'm gonna take this right on the brow bone and kind of clean up the brow area right here because I do like to blend my eyeshadow quite high up and then clean it up with a brighter shadow. I like to go higher up because I wanna take advantage of my eyelid space. I don't have the biggest eyelids in the world, so it's easier for me to just go up high and then take a brightening shadow to clean it up. It's almost like concealer. Going back to my fluffy brush, my BFF in this look and every look, I'm gonna just buff it together because I don't want it to look too harsh, but it brightened up the brow area. On the lid, I'm gonna take this Diamond Lights Finisher from Artist Couture. This is the shade Spotlight Glitz. It's a champagne with a little bit of a rose in it. There's just something about going out at night and like all of the city lights hitting your eyes with glitter and I think it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna use this and if you're in the club, everyone's gonna be looking at you with this on your eyes. So I like that you can control how much product with this. I'm actually gonna use the warmth of my finger to build this up. So since it's a finisher product, you can do a ton of glitter or just a little bit of glitter. I'm gonna start off with with a little bit of product and just press it into the lid. I want to see my actual skin underneath the lid. I want to use it as more of a topper than just a lid color. Sorry, my camera went out of focus, but I only used a little bit and it gives you this like beautiful glow. And if you want a full on glitter eye, you can build it up to a full on glitter eye. You just put more on your finger or your brush, whatever you're using. You don't have to use glitter glue with these at all. The warmth of your finger heats it up and you're good to go. I'm just pressing it and dragging it across the lid. This product is literally genius. I love using glitter, but I hate how messy it is. And you can see like there's no fallout at all and it doesn't get everywhere. I'm gonna take a brown eyeliner in the waterline. This one is from NARS, but it was a limited edition collection. You can use any brown eyeliner you have and I'm just gonna bring it in where my lashes stop. I'm not gonna bring it in all the way. You can use brown or black, it's really preference. I really love the way a chocolate liner complements this look, so I'm using brown. I'm gonna take this caviar stick from Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Burnished Bronze. I love these, I use the cocoa color a lot, which is a brown, but this is a bronzy shade. So I'm gonna take this on the lower lash line. And again, I'm gonna stop kind of in the center of my eye, right underneath that eyeliner that I put in the waterline. And then I'm gonna go back to the little definer brush that I used and I'm going to buff it. And this will dry down to a powder finish so it won't smudge, it won't budge. It'll last all night long. I'm taking my crease brush and I'm bringing the color even lower. I'm not adding any more eyeshadow to the brush. I'm just using whatever is still left on the brush. For my brows, I'm gonna try the Kai Brow from Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics. I actually haven't tried this yet, so I'm gonna brush out my brows. And I've just been loving messy brows lately so much. So all I've been doing lately is taking a pencil. I hope this one looks good because I haven't tried it before. So I just go like little hair-like strokes in the front. I don't like really go underneath anymore like I used to. I feel like this looks a lot more natural. And I'm just gonna clean up the outer tail of my brow. Again, I have like some sparse hairs up here. And then right here in my brow, just kind of filling in like any sparse areas. And I need to get my brows done so bad. 
TBH. Now I'm gonna take the Glossier Boy Brow. This is the brown shade. I love this pomade so much. It's the perfect messy brow just to set your brow. And honestly, I even use it without brow pencil when I'm feeling lazy, but I love this product. And it's really easy if you mess up like a little bit got above my brow, which never happens until the one time that I'm showing you guys on camera, but I'm just gonna take this brush and uh, clean it up. This product has just made me feel more comfortable with my brows. And I know not everyone likes this messy brow look. It's definitely a preference. So don't come for me in the comments, but I love a messy brow look lately. So I'm gonna leave my brows like this. I'm gonna use the Rimmel Lash Accelerator for my lower lash mascara. I'm gonna coat these bad boys. We're almost done, you guys. I promise we're so close. We just have to bronze, contour, highlight, lip color. Done. I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Tantalizer Bronzer. This is a brand new one. Gosh, I love the way it smells. And I love this bronzer. They just relaunched it finally. I feel like they didn't have it for a long time. I was using it in so many tutorials and you guys couldn't find it, but they relaunched it. So I'm gonna use this and this is a Morphe M530 and I'm gonna bronze up the skin, go over where I contoured. Ooh, it's so pretty. I feel like this one is a lot more pigmented than the original version that I have because it's like lying on. Like with the other one, I feel like I use quite a lot of product and it looks more natural, but this version seems more pigmented so i went a little heavy-handed on accident did not mean to do that i have so many freckles on my nose now from being in the sun on vacation and i wish they would like show through my makeup because i love freckles like i love them it's so much i think they're the cutest thing ever and i feel like people who have freckles like a lot of people don't like that they have freckles i guess you always want what you can't have but i adore freckles i think they're so beautiful Going back to my brightening powder, same brush. I'm just gonna go right on the sides of my nose. I've been highlighting the sides of my nose a lot lately and I feel like it makes my nose look smaller. For my blush, I'm gonna use this Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Cream Blush. This is in the shade Sunset Strip. I'm just gonna apply this next to my nose like that because I really love this blush placement, especially for summertime. Gives you this sunburnt effect. Oh, and this brush is a Luxie 680 Pro Precision Face Brush. All right, time to highlight to the heavens. I'm gonna take the Artist Couture Diamond Powder in the shade Illuminati. It's this gold, this is a mini size. I think I have the full size somewhere, but I wasn't sure where it was. So this is what it looks like. I don't wanna like tilt it over. And I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Farsali Mist and I'm gonna spray my Beauty Blender. And then I'm gonna pinch the end of it. I'm gonna dip it in the highlight and I'm gonna take the high point and press it into the skin. And you can build this up as much as you want, but it gives you that blinding highlight and it doesn't look too frosty and it doesn't emphasize the pores on your skin because highlights tend to emphasize pores but when you use a beauty blender, I have a video all on this technique, but when you use a beauty blender, like it just looks like your skin is, is glowing. I'm gonna take some right above my lip, and then I'm also gonna go right above my brow with the excess highlight that's on the sponge. I love the side profile of a glow. I think it's the most beautiful thing. It's one of my favorite parts about makeup. All right, and then I'm gonna go in, oh my gosh, I love this little brush so much. It is a Morphe M506. It's like a little tapered fluffy brush. You could use this for eyeshadow, absolutely, but I love it for precision highlighting. Oh my gosh, it's everything. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go right between my eyes with the highlight, the tip of my nose and also on the inner corners of my eyes. Like, wow, this product is so pretty. And then I'm also going to hit the brow bone. Bam! Oh, so pretty. All right, you guys, so my lip color always depends on what I'm gonna wear. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear, so I'm gonna go pick out my outfit, and then I'll be back, and we will finish with lip color and setting the face. I'm gonna wear a nude lip today. Shock. I know. So I'm gonna start with a lip pencil. This is Kylie Cosmetics Ice Latte. I always start with a lip pencil. This is your base for your lip color. And if your lip color ever wears off, you still have this base. I can't go without lip pencil. Once you start using lip pencils, you never stop. They're everything. So I lay down my lip pencil and now we're gonna go to a liquid lip. So this is a nude liquid lip. This is from ColourPop and it's called Platform. Now I want a nude glossy lip. And my little trick is to use a liquid lip underneath of your gloss instead of just a regular lipstick. When you use a liquid lip, underneath it's gonna last so much longer than a lipstick would under a gloss so I'm gonna take this color and focus it more on the center of the lip and then blot it out 
for my lip gloss, I'm gonna use one of the new Hourglass glosses. I haven't got to try these yet, and I've heard so many good things. So this is the color right here, and this is in the shade Unreal. Wait a minute, no way. One of my favorite glosses you guys have seen me use a million times from L'Oreal is called Unreal. I think I actually have it here on my desk. Oh, is this it? Okay, this is it. Oh, this is the Maybelline Hot Lacquer in the shade Unreal. Oh my gosh, are they the same? They're literally like the same shade. T. I'm sure that wasn't on purpose, but how weird that they're both glosses, both called Unreal, and they're both the same shade. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. <laughs> I always smell my products first. Do you guys know this? It smells super minty. I usually don't like mint glosses, but it has like a little paddle applicator, which I do like that kind of applicator a lot. Last, but certainly not least, you wanna set your face. Everything else is not gonna budge, but you want that extra layer of protection, especially if you're going out to the club or you're gonna be outside and it's hot at night. So I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Mist and Fix O2. This is one of their newer setting sprays and it's a setting spray, but it's also hydrating and it's alcohol free. I always prefer to use setting sprays that don't have alcohol in them because alcohol can really dry out your skin and it's not the best for your skin. So I'm gonna use this one. If you want something that's a little bit more affordable, I also have the Morphe one. This one is really great as well, but I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever one today. It's just so satisfying to set your makeup. Am I the only one? So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this summer proof, summer night out makeup tutorial. I am feeling it if I do say so myself. If you have not already, make sure you hit subscribe down below to join my A-team and join the best YouTube family on the internet. I love you guys so much. Also, don't forget to thumbs up the video and check the little bell down below, click it, to make sure your notifications are on so you never miss a brand new video. I love you guys so much. Thank you as always for watching. I'll link all of the products I used on my face down below. If you have any questions or just wanna come say hey to me, leave it down in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video.